Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the Amazon Fire Tablet 7 that I just bought in 2019 on Prime Day. Um, I've never owned an Amazon tablet before. I'm very particular about the devices I get. I want to make sure that I can get root access to them. That's like a primary requirement for me. I, but on Prime Day, this was a $30 tablet. I quickly Googled and it seemed like pretty easy to root, which it is, and I'll show you here in a moment how to do that. Uh, and I just needed to get a tablet for my daughter. She's been using my old tablet and her birthday is in two months, so I figured spend 30 bucks, get her a tablet. So that's what I did. Uh, I originally was trying to record a video of the whole process of uh, doing a custom recovery and custom launcher, and everything went smoothly, but the video just, it was most, basically me reading directions, and it was, a, it was not a good video. But I figured I'd show you this step, because there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to root it, which I'll show you right now, which is real quick and easy, and custom recovery, but um, removing the unwanted apps is another story. So right here uh, on gitlab.com forward slash melex1000 forward slash amazon dash fire dash seven dash 2019 dash notes dash end dash files. I'll put a link in the description of the video. I have put my notes and all the files you need to do all this stuff as well as links to the full um, forums where I got this information into a Git repository. You can pull this down if you want. If you do, just be aware under files here, uh, this update image, uh, Kindle bin file is about a one and a half gigs that I use to flash over to this device. Um, but we're not going to be looking at the day. Before you even do that, uh, what we want to do is get root. So real quick, I'm here in the shell. I've already, uh, you know, cloned the repository here. Um, but if I ADB DB shell, I'm now at the shell of that device, uh, but I'm not root. Uh, but real quick, if I do PM, that's the package manager. I can do list packages and it should list every package that's installed on your device, whether the icon shows up in your apps or not, because these can be background processes or not. I'm, I can do something like grep, and I can grep Amazon and get a list of all their Amazon, uh, that have Amazon in their name. Uh, theoretically, I could loop through all these and remove all of those. I'm a little concerned that that might, you know, destroy the system, in which case I could just reflash the system. I don't feel like doing that, but I've been going through and picking through the processes and, and disabling anything that doesn't sound like it's something serious I want, but uh, what's real easy, so let's say I want to remove Amazon Kindle. You can see right here, this there's an Amazon Kindle package, uh, but just to be sure, let's just do Kindle here, and you'll see it will list three different packages. And uh, I've actually already disabled all three of these. So originally I went in and I was uninstall them as root. And then a few hours later I came back and they were back. Uh, so since then, I decided to instead of uninstall them, I was um, disabling them. Uh, one, in case I want to re-enable them, like, so that would be, you know, in case it was uh, required for the device, I don't want to mess it up and have to start all over again with my process here, at least disabling them, I can re-enable them, plus so far, disabling them seems to make the Fire tablet think, you know, realize they're still there and doesn't reinstall them. Uh, it's been a couple hours since I've disabled a bunch of stuff, and uh, I've also restarted the device, and it still has not brought back the stuff I've disabled. Uh, but something like that's real easy. So let's say I want to remove all those. Well, it, you're going to need root access to remove some of these packages. So if I did um, p oh, pm, I can do dis. I, I can do if I want to uninstall, I can do uninstall and then the name of the package. Um, that should work for most devices or most packages. But I can do disable and then I can give the name of the package. For example, I can say that right there, or even just that, and it will tell me that it's dis well, it's going to tell me it's not disabled because you need to be root to do disable this. So how do we get root? Let me exit out of this. And again, I'm in the repository that you can get on GitLab here. And um, if I just, I'll just head out the first part of my notes.txt, you'll see a few things. First of all, you want to install these packages. Uh, if you want to go through this whole process, we're going to be using this package in this tutorial. And what we want to do is push this binary file as executable to our device. So I'm just going to run that. So ADB push, and it's in this uh, Git repository. We're going to push that to a temporary folder. And then we'll ADB shell to get that shell again. And then we will CD to data local temp. Uh, tab completion, I don't think works on all these folders. It happens sometimes on Android devices. It's like the whole folder's kind of hidden or something. So just type in CD that. And then we will make that file we just copied over executable. And at this point, we can run that, and we now have root. Now, this is in a temporary directory, uh, that executable, and you know it worked if it says 00 for the uh, user ID and group ID. Um, and you also have your prompt here saying that you are root. Uh, obviously, this is a temp directory, so you restart the device, 
that executable is going to go away, which is fine. Uh, I don't need root all the time, and my daughter de definitely doesn't need it. And again, this tablet's for her, but at any point, I can copy that over. I also unlocked the, the bootloader and um, copied over a custom recovery, which that then allows um, for me, if for some reason this stops working, I should be able to get root that way again. You know, two aspects that way. So if an update somehow uh, stops this from working, I should be able to do that. Uh, but now that we've done that, I can now say, again, PM list packages should list all my packages. And at this point, I should be able to say PM disable and the name of the package. And it has disabled that package. Um, and now, if I want to go through all those Kindle packages, so again, I can list out all packages and I can grep. I'm going to do dash I just in case one of the package names is capital. I don't, I don't know if I've seen any packages with capital names, but you can see there's three of them. And so if I want to get through all of them, what I can do now is just say cut dash I. And again, I've already disabled all these, uh, but it doesn't hurt to go through and do it again. Field two will give me a list of pack, just the packages without the word package at the beginning. And at this point, I can while read, just put it in a while loop, I'll use the variable p, which is the variable I'm making up p for package, and I can do pm disable, spell things right, disable dollar sign p, done, and now loop through each of those packages and disable them. Again, I can do the same thing, I can search through Amazon, probably disable all the Amazon packages, uh, but I, I want to go through them step by step and see which one is which. Uh, so that's great. Now. What about uh, if you don't know the name of a package? For example, if we look at the tablet here, and again, I'm using a launch chair launcher from F-Droid. Uh, I've already uninstalled most of the Amazon packages. I installed their App Store, the Kindle, all that. But I have two here still. They're Prime Video and one called Free Time. I don't even know what that is. Uh, but let's go ahead, and if I did PM list packages, I can grep for Prime nothing, I can grep for video, nothing, I can grep for media, and we get something. Uh, we get this one is an Android provider, I'm not sure what that is, I can probably Google that. Here's a uh, Amazon media thing, let's go ahead and run this, it doesn't sound like it's important, and it's from Amazon, so let's just do our command of PM uh, disable that package, and it disabled that package, but you can see the icon for Prime Video is still there on the tab. Let me focus here, can I focus? There we go. Uh, so it wasn't that package. So how do we figure out, if we don't know what the package name is for this icon, how do we disable uh, something like the Prime Video? Well, if we log cat, this will start listing everything that the device is logging, okay, which is a lot of information. Uh, we can narrow that down. I'll Control-C to kill that. I'm gonna say grep. Uh, CMP, and this is going to grep and it's going to show basically the names of processes running. So you can see the name of some processes running here. And what I'm going to do is, with that, I'm going to go ahead and click the prime icon. Whoops, click the prime icon. And as soon as things start happening on the screen, I'll control C to kill that. And I can see right here this uh, com Amazon uh, AVOD is probably that process since that just started up when I clicked that icon. I'll go back to this here, and let's go ahead and just, I'll just say PM disable, um, and I'll paste in the name of that package, and I'll show you here on the tablet, let's get in focus, I'll hit enter, and that icon has now disappeared because it's disabled. Let's do another one, this, this free time one, I don't know what that is, I'm going to say log cat, and then I'm going to grep CMP just to, so I don't get too much information on the screen, again CMP. Uh, I'm not sure what it stands for, but it lists packages that are running. And again, we're gonna look at this. I'm gonna click on this icon here. So I'm gonna start this, wait for it to catch up, then I'll click on the icon, and then I'll hit Control C. I'll look for something that says com. So here's this com Amazon, uh, T-A-H-O-E, and I'm gonna assume it's that. And uh, I'm gonna do PM disable, the name of that package, and I will run that. And you can see it killed the application and the icon is gone. So uh, right now there's still some Amazon background processes running on the system that I need to go through, uh, but at least I've disabled all their applications 
so that my daughter doesn't have to worry about those. There's a few others that I might disable in here. And then she has F-Droid, so she knows that she's using uh, free and open source packages for things that we install. So that's it. I hope you found that useful. Uh, again, it's it's once you have root, which I showed you how to do that, very simple. Again, I'll put a link to this in the description. You don't need to download anything. Look at this notes.txt, and under files, you want to get uh, either this ARM or ARM64. It's Both both of them have the uh, root uh, executable in them. One's a 32-bit, which will also work on 64-bit, supposedly, uh, devices. And for some reason, it doesn't. You can go to the 64. So basically, just download the notes, and this, copy it over your device, make it executable, and run. Again, all that is in the notes file along with other stuff. If we go to notes here, you'll see again, you'll want, if you want to go through this whole process, you're going to run this, but just to root it, you just need your ADB, so, you know, so sudo apt install that, and then just push that file to this temp directory, log into the shell, move to that directory, make that executable, and run it. Again, there's other notes in here on custom recoveries, all the files are in this Git repository, and there are links in here to the original posts that I got this information from. So I hope you found this useful, and uh, yeah, uh, I think it's great. I got this tablet for 30 bucks, and uh, I'm able to uh, get root on it fairly easily and um, and remove all that Amazon, because it was just, it's the second you turn it on, it just starts popping up all these, buy this, play this game, buy this app. It's like, phew, get rid of all that. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Uh, there you can um, search through all my videos. And uh, if you like my videos, think about supporting. You can support through PayPal or through um, Patreon. And I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.